The art of combat must be practiced to truly master the canvas of war. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. working on it. Continue to defend. How do you start a movie? It's a pretty obvious question, but it's also one that is really, well, quite hard to answer. One thing, however, is certainly clear. It is a beginning's job to establish elements of your story. Take Lord of War, for example, a film with a fantastic opening. And I'm not talking about the sequence that shows the life of a bullet. Don't get me wrong, it's a good sequence. But the thing I like most about this film's opening is the very first line of dialogue. There are over 550 million firearms in worldwide circulation. That's one firearm for every 12 people on the planet. The only question is, how do we arm the other 11? This one line of dialogue is up there with some of the best opening lines ever set. In just this one line, we have learned so much about this movie. It's told us the protagonist is an arms dealer who wants to sell more weapons. It's told us this film will deal with the morality of the arms industry. And it does a fantastic job at telling us about his character. And it does so in a very entertaining way. He lures us in tells us a chilling fact about how many guns are out there in the world, masquerading somewhat like a charity commercial, trying to get us to feel terrible about that fact before they say the number is way too high. And then he slaps us in the face and defies our expectations and says in his opinion it is a terrible number because it just is not enough and he wants everyone to own a gun. And we can infer it's because he wants to earn more money. This tells us that our protagonist has a screwed up moral code and cares more about making money than he does about the lives of his fellow human beings. Not to mention, all of that information is in just one line of dialogue. Not to mention, it is such an interesting and entertaining line of dialogue to listen to, too. And we can go even more extreme. Why even have dialogue at all when you could do something as simple as use the title cards? Take The Shining, for example. The opening credits tell us nothing about the story. They tell us nothing about the characters. But when that music plays as the camera looks down at that lonely car on the road in that valley below, the viewer can't help but feel a cold chill and that this movie most certainly is not going to have a happy ending. The opening credits for The Shining do a fantastic job at introducing that story's tone. Or we can go even more extreme. Why even have a camera shot at all? Take Monty Python's Holy Grail, for example. Before any camera footage even rolls, we already have a very clear sense as to what kind of movie this is going to be. Well, they list people's names and do it normally, but at the bottom they have Swedish subtitles, which progressively go more and more absurd, saying how someone they once knew got bitten by a moose. And uh, where well, the disclaimer at the start is signed by Richard M. Nixon. And then it devolves into Mexicans whooping in a seizure-inducing sequence before revealing the actual first shot of the film, showing that it is set in medieval England, forming this total non sequitur, which does a fantastic job at telling the viewer that this is going to be a borderline insane absurd comedy. Establishing elements of the story really is the purpose openings have to serve. And the difference between a great and awful opening depends mostly on how well they pull that off. So a terrible opening will be one that gets across that information, but they do it in a thoroughly uncompelling way. The most obvious example of this would be the voiceover, where instead of using creative shots and symbolism and well-crafted dialogue, what do they have? They simply have a character address the audience directly and tell them what the film will be about. Emojis. Here, 
of us does one thing, and we have to nail it every time. Now, firstly, I apologize for showing footage of the Emoji Movie on this channel, but uh, secondly, this right here, this kind of example, really is the most obvious example of lazy filmmaking that you could ever hope to find. Where there is no creativity applied, there are no interesting twists and turns, no characters revealed, it is merely an info dump and is about as compelling as reading a Wikipedia article. Now, it's one thing to point and laugh at all the poorly done openings out there, so let's look at one that, in my opinion, is really well done. Now, there are many